Hey, welcome back. So, I've got this uh, MagSpark 209 adapter, and uh, one of the viewers uh, said that this primer might uh, push the charge up the barrel. So I started thinking about uh, how can I test or verify that, and here's what I come up with. I'll start with an unloaded gun, as indicated by the ramrod. Then I'll get 100 grains by volume of a cream of wheat. which is the uh, volumetric equivalent of my powder charge. Then I'll take uh, my bullet, which in this case is uh, 385 grain Hornady Great Plains. And I will seat that down. on the uh, cream of wheat. Mark the position with tape. Withdraw the ramrod. And move the gun up into the firing position. Then I will prime the weapon. the 209 shotgun primer. And fire. And then we'll take the weapon directly off of this setup. Set it back down. Take the ramrod. And that's how far the bullet has moved. So then out of curiosity, I'm going to repeat that test with a number 11, the Winchester Magnum cap. I still have my cream of wheat charge and bullet charge in the gun. So let's see if that moves it, how much that moves. Get this mag spark out of here. Saw a number eleven nipple. I have moved the, let's see, I'll do this here. I have reseated the charge there. Let's set this back up. And I'm going to put, uh, one of these number 11 Winchester Magnum caps on here. And I think I'm gonna, well, 
Let's just go with it. Take this down. And that one has not moved the charge. So ultimately, what does this mean? Is it bad? Is it good? Is it indifferent? I, uh, I don't have a chronograph to test this over, but uh, my feelings are that uh, it's probably not bad. And, uh, I mean, pushing everything out the muzzle is what we're after. And that movement doesn't happen without the um, powder charge igniting. So, I think it's, um, at worst, it's not a bad thing. But uh, let me know what you think. You think that's bad? You have a... Uh, idea about how it uh, affects accuracy or or ultimately what uh, what this means so anyway there's a test thanks for stopping by